guys, um, I don't know if you guys watch SVB. Do you watch any of his videos on YouTube? SVB. If you don't, no. you should. If you don't, you should check him out. He's he's phenomenal. But he just put up a video yesterday about um, Smurf accounts that I thought was pretty interesting because you do hear a lot of that, especially down. I feel like um, kind of at our level where you know down silver here. and stuff yeah. about people uh, thinking you know oh you always run into a Smurf account you always run into somebody like that and um, that it kind of ruins the game and Smurfs are ruining Overwatch and stuff and he really broke it down from a statistical standpoint and that you have about a you have like an eight percent chance to even run into a Smurf um, in within eight games and like an eight percent chance in eight games and um how really rare and low it is and even if you were to run into one the chances that you know that they're going to be able to carry the game because they may you know both teams could get one or um and and that it you know if you win if you win a bunch of games in a row and you and you level up and then you think oh man these guys are getting really hard maybe you know i'm running into a bunch of smurf accounts and it's ruining the game is kind of like the kind of like the the thought process that he that he sees and that he hears a lot in overwatch i was just wondering what your guys's opinion on uh, smurf accounts and how often you feel like you guys have been running into them and things like that <laughs> honestly if you consider a smurf account lower than their main asr then this would technically be a smurf account because my other account's a higher sr yet it's a lower level so SR technically is it a smurf account? or is it not what is the sr on the original account on the well i made this one after that account and this one has a lower sr so would it technically be a smurf if it's a low if it has a higher level but a lower well, sr i think what they yeah, mean what is, is, is a people oh, consider go for smurf it, people who have like huge gaps in sr so like say there's a master grandmaster who's at like 3500 and then their account is in silver or bronze or gold that's what people usually consider a smurf yeah. otherwise people <laughs> who just have more than one account are usually not considered as much as smurf but just people with more than one account yeah that's just a, yeah. that's just an level. alt that's an alt not a smurf yeah yeah so <laughs> like if if like if a player was yeah like like she was saying a grandmaster and then they they get a different account and then they just throw games specifically to get themselves to a lower you know they try to ruin games basically to get the get themselves and keep themselves at a low level just so they can basically like beat up on people when they want to to make themselves feel good about themselves i guess that would be a smurf right yeah i ran i ran but into those there, yeah there are some good smurfs out there that actually struggle down here and actually, like, actually try in the game. Personally, myself, I know, like, one specifically that... I know uh, one. I know one. He's sitting with me right now. Here. Oh! Will, Will's, Will's my Will. smurf. Smurfing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Will's my smurf right now. <laughs> so do you guys Do you guys feel like you run in... Like, if you were to get on... Like, you were to get on tonight, right? You want to play... Like, what are your, what do you feel like your chances? You think like a hundred percent of the time you get on, you're gonna run into at least one Smurf? Honestly, like, I see all these people like saying how they see like most of the g comp games they play like down in like the lower lower levels of bronze. Like they say that they play with a bunch of Smurfs. Like Smurfs play with Smurfs down there, mm -hmm. but that's honestly not true because yeah, there's honestly I people who are honestly that bad at the game. Who don't know the mechanics of the game as well as like others. Yeah, I agree I've with heard you. some stories about people that used to just throw all the way down and then get a team of six Smurfs and they'd end up against a team of six Smurfs. <laughs> I find that really weird because I don't see Smurfs as much as I thought I would. Yeah. Especially in Silver. Yeah. Like, I only know a few, and the ones I do know struggle. They struggle down here because it's ELO help. Well, and it's just not it's not the same and game also, at all. They can't like, predict they can't predict the movement of the playstyle because those people aren't playing like, you know, the most efficient playstyle for that character, right? Mm -hmm. And their and the and their team isn't as good as what a normal team up there would be. So they're kind of struggling on heals, protection by the tanks. Yeah, yeah. A Reinhardt might not be getting bubbled every single time they want to move in and you know, so if you're a Rhine mm -hmm. main then Maybe they're getting beat up on because they're not used to having the heels and the bubbles on them and stuff. There's also the factor of people talking to each other. Yeah. Up in the higher levels, you'll find more people on mic because 
they know, they know who they need to communicate. Mics communicate where people are. But down in like bronze, silver, especially if you're like solo queuing or duo queuing, you're gonna find less people in mic than you are when you're like, playing a pie. I agree. Hey, great breakdown, guys. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna clip this and I'm gonna send it to SVB and see if we can get a response on him and see if what he thinks about um about our opinions as people that are are actually down here in silver and see if we.